go, YouTubers. Welcome back to another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration. Uh, I've got a mail call up this week. So let's take a look. This first one, oh, I remember this. Okay, so you guys know how much I love boxes. And I know there's a lot of collectors that could not care less about the box, but I'm getting ready to do a series on these pumps and um, I talked about it uh, in one of my earlier uh, one of my fan mail mini, uh, videos um, because I got some beautiful pumps and signs and everything from one of my uh, viewers Scott and um, so this was part of my hunt I was able to find another one of these SO with the attendant with the little dude um, I can't tell, I'm gonna have to compare the colors of red on this because I can't tell if this is the newer or the older. But the reason that I bought this was actually not for this because I've got a couple of these already. It was for the box and what came with it. So as you can see, this box, whew, it's really in rough shape. Um, most of this side of the box is actually missing uh, completely. It's got one little scrap, I guess, that would probably go in there, um, but it's it's missing quite a bit. Um, the other side of the box has most of the front artwork image. It's got a little tape thing from a hobby store on this side. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a resto on this or not. Usually when I do one, I'm starting with a few more pieces than what I've got in this one. But, uh, you know, I like a challenge, so I may give it a go and see what I can find. Um, so that's exciting. And then this was really one of the main reasons that I went after this auction. This is my missing link. This is the last piece I needed to be able to do my repair. And that is an original sign. So this is the SO. metal SO sign that goes with this set of pumps. So that was the last thing I needed to be able to complete this restoration. Now this one you may notice it's got a little hole in there and I don't know I mean it it almost looks too perfect uh, too fine to have been a a problem in the casting um, so I don't know if for some reason that was like drilled in there or, or what um, but most of the models that I have seen did not have a hole there and the decals go right up to it so I'm not really sure what it is um, but again this is a restoration channel right so if I find a piece and it needs to be restored that's even more interesting to me. So we're gonna see what we can do with that. Um, I may try to fill that hole that may be a good use with my uh, my putty, um, my milliput. And we'll give that a shot to see if we can fill that hole and then repair these uh, decals. So Super excited about that one. I'd kind of forgotten about it because I think I actually purchased this a few weeks ago. Shipping was kind of slow on that one. Up next, got a box from Mark Bezich, I think. Isich. Everything. A ton of peanuts in that one. So let me 
me see. This one's pretty well wrapped, protected. And it is a box. It's a box for my number 42 station wagon. Judy Baker station wagon. So I have a couple of these in my collection and uh, I've never had a box for any of them. And so I kind of started watching a few of the boxes. And you guys know me, I like them a little toasty. Um, and this one came up, uh, sold for a really good price because it does have some damage. Uh, this one end flap has been torn off on this side and uh, on the other as well. So, but both of the inner flaps on both sides are still intact. So that one needs a uh, so little, little love, a little touch up there to restore those two end flaps back onto the box. But um, if you've ever watched any of my box restorations, uh, you know that I've tackled way more difficult stuff than this. So that's gonna be a quick, easy little repair. Um, I might do that one as a live. Um, I've been looking, I've been following some of the channels that have been doing some of the uh, live events and I've been trying to think about, you know, what's a quick, fast little restoration that I could do in a few minutes um, and do it live either on my Facebook page or on my YouTube channel. And so um, that might be a good candidate for a live restoration. Next, I've got a package from Carrie Snowden. I believe this is an eBay purchase. Oh, I do remember this one. Um, so for those of you that follow um, what all of the pricing is, uh, I know that you will recognize this. Um, this has been one of my unicorns. This has been something that I have been chasing for a really, really long time. Um, these are older models. They're much harder to find. And um, I've got a couple of them. But the thing that makes this one really valuable and impossible to get is right here. Um, these dually tires on the back. So this thing came up, um, I watched it kind of go the auction cycles, few different rounds. Um, this is normally an extremely valuable model and um, I think the seller in this case knew that it was an extremely valuable model. Um, but I was able to kind of make a few offers, negotiate a little bit, there's a bit of back and forth until we got to a price where we were both happy and uh, was able to make the purchase on this. But um, this is uh, gonna fill a big hole in my collection because um, I haven't found one of these for under $100 for as long as I've been watching them and um, was able to purchase this model for about half of that. So super <laughs> excited to get this. It's not in great shape, but it's not in terrible shape. Um, you know, this is so old and so valuable. I'd never strip it and restore it. I might do some touch-ups on uh, <coughs> on the silver paint on the bumpers um, and the little tank back here, and that would be about it. So, very, very excited to finally have one of these super rare, hard to find um, models. So, excited about that one. Last but not least, I've got a package. This is from Harry Shawley. And these are some pieces that I have long been after for a long time restoration. This is this one's probably taken me longer than any other restoration I've been working on. And that has been because of these two babies right here. So I'm in the 
middle right now, I've mean, been working on for a few weeks now, two of these John Deere tractors. Um, and I'm doing a bare strip restoration on both of them. And uh, one of them I'm gonna restore with the black wheels on the front and the back, and one with the gray wheels on the front and the back. Now, it's not a problem to find the gray wheels for the rear. Um, most all the parts suppliers and parts shops have them. But uh, these front wheels in gray have been next to impossible to find. Um, and I found this auction was actually the tractor and the little tipping trailer. And the tipping trailer has the, the black wheels on it. Um, and this is actually in pretty good shape overall, but it's missing the most important part, which is the little tow hook from the front, um, which I didn't care. I paid uh, $8 for both of these models, and um, I actually would have probably paid up to $10 just for these tires on the front. Um, so this is for parts uh, to finish my other two restorations. Um, it's got a steering wheel. The steering wheel's a little wonky. Um, and I think I'm probably still gonna use the ones that uh, Marty sent me um, to finish that repair. So, but this was, this was a very difficult hunt to find these little gray wheels. Um, and so I purchased all of these um, just so I could get those two tires. So excited to finally get that. I should be finishing that video up uh, sometime in the next few weeks. Uh, if I don't get distracted with all these other things I've got going. So, um, happy to finally have those and may eventually after, it's been two, three months that I've been working on those, uh, may be able to get those done and out. So, thanks so much for joining me this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed this mail call video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And join me next week for another vintage diecast restoration.